Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand Alliance. Come on in. I want to take you on a tour of my wardrobe, show you what's in these closets, and maybe you can pick up some tips on organization that might be helpful in the new year. So this space basically is a walk-in closet. And uh, a little bit of history about this space. This actually used to be a hallway that led to the bedroom, which we'll show you in a minute. Um, and where these wardrobes are right now where it was a staircase. So if you take a look down here, we have a house that has a big staircase in the front, and then there's a secondary staircase in the back that went from the kitchen to the rooms on the second floor, rooms on the third floor. So to gain some space, what we decided to do is take out the staircase that went from floor two to floor three, which gave us um, almost six feet in width, uh, by about uh, 13 feet, 14 feet in length, pretty big room that has become a closet. So actually designed this closet um, uh, that you can see here and uh, um, wanted to expand the space by putting uh, mirrors in it, which are health, uh, also helpful for getting dressed in the morning, um, but also they actually give a little more uh, sense of space. Uh, so we have three compartments here and I'll show you what's in each of those. And as I said before, there's some things in here that you might find helpful that you can pick up um, for your own organization. Whether you have a three foot closet, a six foot closet, or you have a double sided walk-in closet, it's important to keep things organized. So we have three main banks here. And what I did was um, we'll start with this bank here. As I said before, I put mirrors in here, which is very helpful uh, in getting dressed in the morning. Have a, um, a fair amount of light in here, which is important uh, when you're picking out uh, colors in clothes. We have LED light, which has a uh, relatively clear temperature, a uh, Kelvin temperature of about 3000. No warmer than that, otherwise your clothes look yellow and you'll be mismatching them and they won't look the same when you go to the office or when you go outside in the sunlight. So in the first bank of clothes that I have here, ta-da! This is where I actually keep um, shirts that I wear primarily for work um, and um, where I keep my suits. So starting up here on the top, uh, this is an organizational thing that I think is important that um, you rank your clothes or you put your clothes in order. And in this case, I'm doing it kind of in color. Um, if you don't know where your clothes are in your closet, you're never going to find them. You're never going to wear them. So if you know where your clothes are in the closet, if you keep them organized, and whether that be by color or by type, and we'll show you how that folds out um, in other parts of the closet, you are more likely to wear them. I'm pretty much a person, if I don't wear something for a season, I will consider getting rid of it. And, um, and if it's an important piece of clothing that I've had that I think has longevity, I'll put that in the cedar closet. Things that are disposable, I get it rid of. So I also try to look at uh, my wardrobe. I have a limited amount of space. When I get something new, I try to take something out of the closet. Um, so keeping organized in your closets will help you um, just make sure that you're wearing the clothes. Now, it looks like I have a lot of shirts. I actually wear shirts for business. Uh, as an architect, I typically wear a collared shirt, tie, suit, or sports coat every day to work. I also wear that on church to Sunday. So six days a week, I'm wearing a suit and tie. And so I have a lot of shirts. Um, and so I actually go through them and I actually wear almost everything here. And I say almost because there's formal wear here that you're not wearing a lot. And there are some summer shirts that are more of a novelty that you're not wearing a lot. But the majority of stuff in here, 80, 85% of this, I wear on heavy rotation. So I keep white shirts here. And this includes formal shirts, uh, more casual shirts. Uh, these are obviously tuxedo shirts. Um, and I have shirts that have regular cuffs and then I have shirts that have a French cuff and I like wearing cuff links. So French cuff is a shirt that is intended to be folded up that you wear with a cuff link as opposed to a regular uh, shirt cuff that has its own button. Um, I then move into solids and we have solid blues, whether I have a button down collar, whether I have more dressy blue shirts um, or darker blue shirts. And then I move into blue prints. Um, all of these shirts I can wear with a jean and I can also wear them with dress pants. And so um, it's beyond the uh, business wardrobe. So it's beyond wearing these nine to five to the office. I can wear a shirt like this um, with jeans on a weekend. Um, or when I come home from work, I might take off my dress pants, take off my suit, 
put on a jeans or put on khakis and keep the shirt on, Take, lose the tie. Uh, and then we move into colors um, in the closets, heavy pattern shirts. And then these represent shirts that are more like uh, flannels, heavy textures, more casual thing, more shirts. And then actually I have sentimental shirts here. These are shirts that were my father's. Um, I don't wear them that often, but I can't get rid of them. So some things keep in the closet for sentimental reasons. So if you have space, you can do that. If you don't have space, you have to really set priorities on what you want to keep in your closet. So here's something that when I made the closet, I actually put some rollout trays and this is how I store belts. And so people ask me, why do you put your belts flat like this? I actually like it. They're all at once. Um, you know, if you hang a belt on a belt hanger, you notice that even if you have a small waist, that this is, you know, almost four feet long. And so where are you going to put this? You're going to hang it on the top. You're never going to see the back of them. So laying things down flat in drawers where you see them all the time um, helps you stay organized. Um, these belts represent browns to blacks. I have casual belts. I have dress belts. I have novelty belts. Um, you know, so I have belts I wear with shorts. Lots of different types of belts. Now, you don't buy these all at once. I've had, for example, a favorite belt of mine. I've had for 35 years. Um, I've never replaced it and it's never worn out and it just keeps going. So a lot of times I will uh, keep things if I continue to wear them as long as they still fit. That one might be approaching the end of its, does it still fit? Down below here is where I keep suits and I start with sports coats. So these are sports coats, moving into solid color suits, moving into print, so that would be a stripe or plaid, and then formal wear. Uh, formal wear stays in the closet typically um, all year round. Um, most of these suits are all year round. These heavier, uh, nubbier textures will get retired to the cedar closet, be replaced by linen blazers um, in the springtime. Um, I'm actually pressed for space when it comes to shoes. So you can actually see I keep my sneakers in this closet, which is not ideal, um, but I probably have more clothes now than I did when I made this closet eight years ago. Um, in the second bank is, ta-da, it's where I keep uh, ties and uh, where I keep sweaters. Um, so organization, once again, I'm organizing this by color. If you don't know where it is, so I'm like, where's a gold tie? I'm looking for the gold ties. I don't have to look everywhere throughout the, the closet to find the gold ties. I want to wear this blue and yellow striped tie. It's going to be in the gold tie bag. I keep my formal ties, black, white ties that I will either wear with formal suit or a tuxedo here. Keep my bow ties down here. I try to keep things separate. Once again, if you know where it is, you're more likely to wear it. People that stop wearing clothes in their closet, they'll look in their closet and say, and find something that has a price tag on it and say, oh, I forgot I had that. You forgot you had it because you don't know where it was in your closet. If you know where it is, by a little trick of organization, by color, by type, you're more likely to wear things. And then if you don't wear it, get rid of it. So, see, I have a lot of stuff. I actually wear it. I wear it. You know, so since I'm dressing for multiple types of uh, um, functions, whether it be for work, whether it be after work going to dinner, whether it be on the weekend going to church or uh, traveling or whether I'm going you know, like on a, a beach vacation or like going skiing, there's a lot of different types of clothes I have. I'm, I am admittedly, I'm not a minimalist when it comes to uh, clothing, when it comes to wardrobe. I take a lot of uh, pleasure in clothes. But once again, I've built a wardrobe over the course of probably 10 or 20 years. So things in my closet, I can point to some of those suits I've had actually for 15 years. And when it comes to ties, I will keep a tie forever. That's one thing I actually don't get rid of. Um, I get rid of them if I wear them out. But there's certain things I even have sentimental attachment to that I can't get rid of them. So I, I have a bag of ties that are worn out and I'm thinking maybe there's a project that uh, my seamstress mother or uh, my, uh, my sisters might want to actually turn into something for me. 
Um, once again, staying organized, in my case, by color. These are very handy. Um, so if you have a closet where uh, you don't have access to a door hanging on the door, you can put this on the side wall of a closet and pull this out. Uh, these are very inexpensive. Got them at a, um, a home center. So it allows you to pull things out of your closet if you wanted to attach them to a side wall in a closet. Once again, solids on the top. I keep prints below and brown ties. You can see I actually favor a lot of green ties. I like wearing green and blue. In this bank, I organized this originally for shoes and, um, and boots, but I realized it was an inefficient use of that space. So I ended up putting um, sweaters on here. So we're in the middle of winter season. Um, I like wearing sweaters. Um, so sometimes at work, even though if I wear a suit, I might take off my suit and throw on a sweater at the office. It's actually cold at the office. Um, I actually love wearing sweaters on the weekend. Um, so I have a lot of different sweaters. Once again, I've had sweaters here, this particular sweater I've had since college, you know, and I have sweaters up here actually from high school that I continue to wear. I'm keeping these organized also. You can see I have a lot of cream color sweaters. Keeping them organized, I can see at a glance what I have more apt to wear them. So I'm organizing by color, heavy textures up here. Um, we have uh, lighter textures. These are mostly V-neck sweaters that I would wear typically to work with a tie and a shirt. And uh, in cold weather, I might wear under a sports coat. And then lately, as you can see uh, what I'm wearing now, turtlenecks. Um, I'm on uh, the same page with uh, our friend Trav White. Uh, he recently did a video, uh, which we can link below here, on the, um, the appeal of the turtleneck. And I have been wearing a lot of uh, turtlenecks in heavy rotations, especially even with a suit and with a sports coat, um, having them in navy black and a lot of uh, different colors also. That's the second bank of the closet. These are also pretty cool too, since the drawers pull out. Um, you can see what's in them, easier to fold up your clothes. I like seeing the edges of things, and so it's great when you have a pull-out drawer to see the items. If you stack and look down on something, you see one item. You never see the bottom. So let me show you my trick for drawer organization that'll help you wear the clothes that you have more and then decide what you don't want to wear. So this bank is where I keep uh, slacks unrelated to suits, uh, organized by casual. Some of these things are left over from warmer weather in the fall, the khakis. I have a lot of heavy textured uh, pants that I wear a lot with sweaters on the weekends, dress pants if I'm wearing a sports coat, and um, just uh, general print pants. Um, little area up here where I keep my wallet, um, where I'll, I'll keep a supply of beer brands. Um, important thing to have a sweater shaver. So this is something you, if you have nubs on your sweater, you can shave your sweater. Um, this is where I keep a shoehorn. This is where I'll keep a collar stays. This is where I keep uh, novelty stuff. Once again, press for space when it comes to shoes. I keep uh, some sneakers and some uh, summer um, related uh, footwear here. But then this is the bulk of my folding clothes. Um, this back, the top drawer. Since my hair has gotten longer, it is a little more obsolete. Uh, I tend not to wear a hat. Um, if I'm going to wear a hat, I'm going to wear a beanie at the gym. There was a time when I was wearing a lot of hats. Um, but uh, so I have a large collection of baseball hats. Um, this is probably going to be organized and probably wearing them less uh, than I used to in the past. It's also taking up a valu valuable drawer. The best way to organize drawers is not to stack things. Um, and when you stack things, you only look at the top surface. You might go down one or two. You never look in the bottom. So what do you have in your drawer? The best way to see it is, ta-da, put things on end. So in this case, t-shirts, no, <laughs> lots of t-shirts. Um, I wear t-shirts and thing is, I will uh, wear a t-shirt to gym once. That's it. And then so, I have to say with my dress shirts, I'll wear a dress shirt two, three times. Uh, I send them out to the launder uh, to have them laundered. And, um, you know, for the price, it's actually worth doing. But t-shirts, obviously, you're wearing once and done. These also represent some novelty things. They also represent sentimental things. I have t-shirts in here I've actually had since high school. 
um, which I still wear. Um, and so this drawer is pretty tightly packed and is going to be, be um, it tends to get organized a little bit by my daughter taking some of them. But also, as I get new t-shirts, I pull things out of here and get rid of them. So it's never more than this typically. Um, but I have my, my collection of uh, beard brand, of course. Um, these are all, um, you would, which I would call athletic shirts. Uh, these are either going to be clothes that are specifically for athletic wear, uh, clothes I wear to the gym. These are more for a t-shirt and jean kind of look. Um, I organize uh, sweatpants similar way, put things on end. If I'm stacking them in a the drawer, I'm never going to use them. This represents uh, running tights, uh, shorts, as well as sweatpants. Jeans, I do a similar approach. I don't hang jeans. That's an option. If you have closet space, uh, you can hang your jeans. find it very helpful here. Seeing the tags of what you have always and showing every piece that's in the thing. You don't have to pull anything up to pick something out of the, the drawer. So that's key. If you see it, you're going to wear it. And if you're not going to wear it, then you can decide to get rid of it. Um, this drawer is probably a little left over from summer. This represents um, polo shirts, um, summer t-shirts that are non-novelty, uh, unlike this drawer. Um, once again, I'm always trying to see everything in the drawer all at one time, so we're seeing the edge of every shirt. And this bottom drawer represents uh, sweatshirts and uh, sweaters. A couple of more things here. Um, took advantage of some dead space we had in this hallway, and I built this uh, closet which is where I keep my shoes. So being a tall guy with a long reach, I can reach. Um, I'm actually um, very fortunate that I um, actually work for a couple of companies. Paul Evans uh, supplies a lot of my shoes. Um, so I'm very, um, love shoes, <laughs> just, Hey, love shoes. Um, but I keep dress shoes. I keep brown shoes, a lot of monk straps. Um, I keep loafers, Belgium loafers, and I keep sneakers up here. It's a throwaway kind of disposable summer shoes up there. Um, but this is very helpful, uh, in order to see everything you have. A lot of times, uh, previous in a previous life, my shoes were thrown in the bottom of the closet. First of all, it's no way to treat them. If you're going to spend money on clothing, on shoes, treat them. I mean, if you treat them, uh, treat them good. Um, they'll last longer if you um, don't have your shoes knocking around with other things. There's a couple more areas. Not all clothes can be kept um, in the same place. And in a perfect world, I'd have a bigger closet that would actually, this functions as a dressing room. I actually get dressed in here in the morning. If uh, my wife is still sleeping, I can close the doors and get dressed in, the, in here before uh, going to the gym in the morning. Um, but uh, not enough room to keep some folding clothes. So what's missing? So what's missing are undergarments, underwear. So um, and one thing, you know, we have a um, bedroom suit uh, actually came from my in-laws. This was from 1964. Uh, the furniture they got when they got married and they recently uh, retired and we got this which a lot of storage. And so I share this space with my wife in terms of storage. And so what's missing are the undergarments. So organizing once again, trying to organize by type. We have athletic socks. I have browns and blues, and then I have blacks. And then I'm almost embarrassed to show this drawer. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, underwear. Um, I might wear, actually change my underwear twice in one day, uh, wearing underwear to the gym and, and put for the first pair on when I come back. So, um, actually go through the underwear and, um, remember, um, some advice that I got from one of our, um, friends, mothers, you know, she was a wise woman. We said, uh, you know, what piece of advice you could, could you give us? And um, you know, she looked at everyone and she said, wear nice underwear when you're young. So something I've embraced. Um, on the, my dresser here, I actually keep uh, cologne, 
keep, um, I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I do wear cuff links and I do uh, wear some rings. So I don't wear a lot of stuff. I do wear some watches. That's it. That's what I keep in uh, my wardrobe. That's what I have in my closet. Hopefully you found something here uh, that you can take away in terms of helping you to stay more organized. The beginning of the year is an excellent time to uh, take inventory uh, within your closets to see what clothes you have, what you are wearing, what you aren't wearing. But once again, making sure that you can see all of the items in your closets and in your drawers. That'll assist you in staying more organized and helping you to eliminate clothes that you don't wear. Hope that's helpful. Comment below and tell us if uh, you have any tricks that uh, you would uh, use to help organize in your closets. Until we meet again, beard on. All right, guys, your biggest organ, you know, your skin, it deserves a little bit of treat. Head over, grab the utility bar, take care of your skin, take care of your beard, take care of your hair, and use it to shave if you need. Beardbrand.com, go and grab a little bit of heaven in a bar.